Good morning folks, starting off in Australia, the green that you're looking at here is higher than average vegetation, way higher. Now this means two things going forward in the weeks and months. First, when it dries out, it's going to pose a very significant fire hazard, worse than the last two years. But until then, it is breeding mosquitoes like crazy, and that means Murray Valley encephalitis. I got a little bit of a sick feeling in my stomach reading about Israel's Iron Dome here. This is their missile defense system. Apparently it's pretty legit. And last but not least, on the news front, we'll put this below about the North Koreans uh, attack to put a satellite up into space it's drawing a lot of international backlash in the wake of the geomagnetic storm from two days ago you can see that we have had minor bouts of instability now you might also remember that we had that large dark triangular shaped corona hole pointed at the earth now it was while it wasn't anything abnormal or crazy corona holes do put out fast charged up solar winds uh, streams. You can see here on the yellow the solar wind speed is well above ambient space weather. You can see on the flux gate magnetometer the horizontal disturbances in our uh, magnetosphere and this is the temporal variations here on the induction magnetometer and the red is above the blue indicating ionospheric absorption. So in addition to getting hit with the coronal hole stream folks we have these two filaments erupt on the northwestern limb. Luckily folks as you see the second one go off and we switch over to the Soho Lasco C3 they are going up and away and do not really pose any threat to earth. Solar activity is very low and we shouldn't have much to worry about uh, in the next day or so. Last thing I'm going to leave you with, folks, picture them chemtrailing right up past Jupiter and Venus. Enjoy, folks. That's the news. Have a great weekend. Be safe.